Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alperonin here again, and today I am playing with Nighteye. A few of you guys suggested it under my poll that I did the other day, um, to play with Nighteye, and to be honest, yeah, I just really wanted to. <laughs> Nighteye is a fun character, and I haven't really played in it with him for, like, a really long time, so... Yep, I'm playing with him. <laughs> I don't think I've actually seen that team um, intro online before. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna try and get off the parry whenever I can with Nighteye. Because that's one of the coolest part about him, but unfortunately, it's kind of garbage. It's really slow and it's really punishable. <laughs> Ooh, oh no. Oh damn, okay. His yellow attack is good tracking. I tried to dodge it with my quirk too. Okay. Yeah, if you're wondering why I jump into the air to do his projectiles, it's because he like recovers a lot faster if you do it from the air. So it basically just means that they're a bit safer. Oops. Still some pretty good damage. And there we go. Yeah, his combos are actually pretty fun, and he can combo off of almost anything, except for his projectiles. They're, he's one of the few characters that can't really easily combo off of his projectiles. There we go. Yeah, when you're zoning with Nida, you want to make sure you're moving around, because his... His um, projectiles are pretty interesting, like his quirk one and stuff, like his tilt quirk one. They can like bring him down to the ground, or he can do them from the air to have quick recovery. Or he, But he also has these cool dodges that he can do if the opponent tries to come in while you're doing them. Oh no. Oops, I messed that up. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, it started with the tilt quirk one, so it shouldn't do too much damage. Even with this plus ultra one, it's not really going to do that much damage. Yeah. That's as much damage as he, as he probably even less damage than he could get from a normal combo. Oh no, that's- oh god, what's going on? Dash cancel? Can I dash cancel that? No. Okay, it was too late. <laughs> oh, no, no, I slid into his thing. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna break that one. Because we're getting a bit tight. Be taking those kind of combos. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What's going on? Oh no! Oh my god, he comboed off of that! Oh no. Oh, is that gonna kill? I don't know. It probably is, yeah. That's not scaled or anything. Yep, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I was doing well in the first round. Playing it patient. I just need to be a bit more careful, especially since a lot of Inasa's, like, his quirk moves and stuff, they can hit you, like, really quickly from any direction. Oh god, I tried to dodge out of the way of that. Especially with this king support, he's really hard to, like, avoid. Come on, dodge! No! Dodge! Okay, yeah, he's not wanting to take my pressure anymore, which makes sense. Oh god, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, no, no. Okay, both my supports are gone. Okay, that's some pretty good damage. Oh, no, 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 that is not something I want to be taking. There's no supports. Oh, no, 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 no,
think I have a plus. Oh no, I don't have a plus ultra 2 yet. Oh. Wait, no! Kimmy, me, Kimmy, 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 Kimmy. Calm down. Oh no, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> am I getting nervous? Yes, I am. Oh, wait. Is that punishable? Oh, I don't think it is, is it? No. Come on, am I punishable? No, I am! Oh my god! No, 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 no! <laughs> I should have called that Aizawa. Oh, okay, damn it. <laughs> damn it. That was close. Oh, I should have just called that Aizawa. It doesn't matter if I'm safe or not. Just like, have him not pressure me. Okay, that was close though. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's pretty crazy against, because, like, ugh, so many of his quirk moves, they're so good at holding you down. Like, you've got to be. You've got to be. <laughs> you've got to be, like, always ready for his, um, his tilt quirk one, or even his quirk one. And his quirk two in the air is also really crazy, that boomerang, because you can come off of that. And that Kami support as well was really useful, because, like, like, even if you sidestep at the wrong time, that'll catch you, as well as all of his quirk buttons will catch you, so yeah. Pretty scary stuff. And let's hope it doesn't take too long to find a match. And yes, ranked still isn't working on Xbox, don't know why. It's not my problem. Well, it is a problem for me, but it's not my problem to deal with. <laughs> okay, now we're down to someone with, like, no points. Okay, we're getting some weird glitchy glitches. And I don't know if it's the game or... I'll see. I'll leave it for now. If it, get worse. if it gets worse, I won't. Oh my god, I completely forgot to try and land the uh, his parry against Nasa. I just went into too try hard mode, because the parry is really not that good, so in most like competitive matches, you're not really gonna have a chance to do it. Like, it's not even good enough to like really like interrupt gaps in someone's attack string very consistently, because it's slow and it's punishable. I wish it wasn't though, because it's so cool. Actually, how about I just start off this match? Because if he's a beginner, he might, you know, just be mashing buttons at the start. So, let's see if I can catch him doing that. Come on, parry, 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 parry. Oh! No! No! <laughs> oh, and it's also annoying that he can parry, like, projectiles and stuff, but he just gets punished for it. Jeez, this guy's moving weird. Oh, sidestep on it. Wait, did that reach from here? I don't know if his plus ultra is full screen, just like his projectiles. I think it is good. And then if he blocks this as well... Yeah, wait, his guard's not broken? Okay. One support down, that's okay with me. Ooh, we can't just be throwing that out. Oh my god, he was gonna hold down, keep coming at me from all that, that distance away. Oh no. Oh god, I thought I would've gone further with that. Oh no no, wait, excuse me! I was calling on my- come up! Oh my god, and that's the game, jeez. Okay, okay, no more play. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come in and not try and zone him out this time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh god. Hello. Oh, damn, I thought I could chase him down while he was riding that ice. 
Now he's gonna run away because he picked Todoroki in order to zone people out. Hit him once after that. Oh, sorry, mate. That is not gonna work, or at least I hope it doesn't. Okay, good. I'll just do one of these, and he's probably. Oh, god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, those are some. So with um Nida, he's got some new combos now, especially since his whole attack string actually hits now, which is lovely. <laughs> Um, so I do the whole attack string into his tilt quirk 2, um, two of his tilt quirk 2s. Okay, I'll show now. Oh, no, okay, it doesn't work slightly if you're facing in the wrong angle against the wall, but it works all the time, except for that awkward time at the wall. Um, but yeah, it does a lot of damage, and I actually like to go for a reset, and then after the reset, because it's a recovery reset, so it does full damage. Oh no! Oh, I kind of messed it up because we support. But this is what it would look- Oh no my god, what's going on here? But essentially, it does a lot of damage and then I reset and I do even more damage, so it's very damaging. Oh, sorry mate, I think you're dead. Unless that's gonna block my projectiles. I wonder if I can just do two of these from a distance and break someone's guard. Ooh, wait, is that gonna punish him? No, he's gonna be able to block that. Can't run with the broken guard. <laughs> wait, what did I just say? You can't run with a broken guard. Yes, you can. That's what you do when you have a broken guard. You want to run so you get it back. I didn't get the parry again. <laughs> it's just such an impractical thing. Like, you never get the opportunity to do it. Like, he can parry projectiles, but it doesn't really do anything. Here, sure, I'll go against him again, and I'll try and get the parry off. I'll try and- what, maybe when he goes to attack me. Or I'll try and, like, let him come in and, and attack me, and then in the middle of the attack string I'll get the parry off. Or maybe I'll just run off and do a parry, instead of attacking. We'll see, we'll see. I don't have a tactic set for getting parry off. So wait, did it work last time? Let me try again. Okay, no. <laughs> oh wait, what? I tried to cancel out in the tilt part too. Damn it. <laughs> He's going straight in for the damage. Now we're back at the zoning war, because... Okay, look, run it. Harry, hit me! Are you kidding? It ran out right as that came out. Okay, one spot down. That was actually going to be some decent damage. Okay, and then I'm just going to run up. Oh, I wasn't going to do a combo, I just wanted to bait you into hitting me. Parry, parry. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, apparently it didn't help me. Oh, what the hell? Why did he go so far? What, what is going on? I swear it just makes the game more laggy. Oh, yikes. Oh no, don't get hit by that! Oh my god, I got hit by that. I tried to do the tilt work one so I'd fall under it. Yeah, that actually combos and does a lot of damage. The tilt quirk one from the air into the tilt quirk one on the ground. Oh, ooh, nice guard cancel. I see. Parry? No, no. no don't punish me. Okay, let's just go for a combo. Or not. That's fine. 
Yeah, if you're near, facing a wall and it can be that weird angle where the full attack stream doesn't hit, I just go for the yellow attack. Oh, I think I just pressed the button and I'm gonna get hit. Uh, good, it didn't read. <laughs> oh my god, it is, does it normally send them flying that far away? I swear that usually always works. Um... Oh. <laughs> Why would you grab him? Oh, nice setup. But I can't do my full combo if you're dying like that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh god. No, I didn't mean to do that. Why would it? That was garbage. <laughs> Just tilt quirk in there. Damn it. Oh god, I thought that would be gone by then. Tilt quirk on. I need Tilkok 2! Tilkok 2! Yeah! Ooh, what the hell? Oh, he's not gonna let me get the combos, at least- Oh wait, get the parry? Can I, so I can parry projectiles, but I can't parry his ice? Um, so I just did a parry. Can I parry? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, excuse me, I want to do a plus ultra too. What happened there? Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, and I think he's dead. Yep. <laughs> Side step into plus ultra one or plus ultra two. It always works. Day one strategies, but they're the ones that stick with you. <laughs> Okay, next round, I'm gonna give up on using the parry, or I'll see if I can do it at any, op any opportunity, but I'll try and focus on doing some of the cool combos and resets, because Nido has some really cool and high damaging combos, especially with these supports, the teacher supports that I have. Oh, whoa, laggy laggy lag, what's going on here? I did click next match, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so the new bread and butter combo that I like to do with Night Eye is three hits into the two tilt quirk twos, dash cancel, two hits, yellow attack, and then a single tilt quirk two, and then it leaves them in like a weird state where they kind of recover towards you most of the time. And then you just dash after them and then do two hits into the yellow attack, into the two tilt quirk twos, and call your support. To combo for that, and you do two hits into the yellow attack into the tilt quirk two, and it does a lot of damage. Like the combo, the like part after the reset does about like nine thousand damage, but and so does the um, initial part. So it's a lot of damage for one dash cancel and one support. It's nearly half of their health if you get it correctly, and they don't break it, of course. This matchmaking is going to take a while, I will shut up and you can <laughs> skip to when I find a match. Who we got? Okay. They've got no points, but they've got a lot of hearts, so you can tell that they've played a lot online, even though they haven't been able to play ranked matches. But, uh, I wouldn't hold that against them, considering you actually can't at the moment. Oh, okay, overall, this will be a bit tough. Actually, I wonder how much- I haven't played with him since the new patch. I wonder how much the, um, the nerfs really affected him. Because they didn't really affect any of his, like, crazy playstyle, only, like, some of his combos are slightly so, nerfed. Um, you know what? Let's just start off with parry, see if he gets hit by it. No, okay. 
Okay, I should be able to get the full combo here. Oh, he didn't even recover. That's interesting. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, if he's not going to be recovering, I'll just go for a full combo. So that's interesting. If he's oh wait, is he not playing? That might be why. <laughs> uh. I guess I'll give him a second. What is he doing? Is he just farming online points? That's not cool. Anyways, I guess I can practice some combos online. <laughs> I'll show you what the you know after um I was talking about what the combo was. So after I do the um two hits into this, into that, then the opponent recovers and you dash after them and you can do two more hits and they dash right on top they recover like right on top of you, so like it almost always works unless they sidestep right after their recovery. But it works a lot. And then after that you recover and you dash in and hit them, like which works most of the time. You do, do And then that's a big chunk of damage, on top of the combo at the beginning, which is uh, not going to work there. But yeah, it does a big bit of damage. And if you do, um, if you're near a wall that, or a place where the combo is not going to work, just do two hits into the yellow attack into the two clock twos. It's a bit less damage, but it's more consistent. Hopefully we don't run into this guy again, because I have no idea what he's doing. And that's really weird, and it's not like other games, like in a Mortal Kombat or something, where you can, like, put down the controller and it... <laughs> wow! Good job. What, why did I like him? Can I reverse that? I don't want to like it. Rematch? What the hell's wrong with you? But it's not like Mortal Kombat or something where you can just put down your controller and leave and it keeps trying to put you through matches. Like, this game, if you don't, like, do something in the menu for, like, two seconds and it, like, kicks you out <laughs> of the online service. So, there's no way this guy is away from his controller, so he just got a match and then didn't do anything? Like, why? He stopped it. Oops. Uh, um... Okay, oh. Wait. Okay, I did just press the back button, but hopefully it's not gonna freak out. Okay, okay. This person's got some more points. Same amount of hearts though, but... Who are they using? That's the real question. We'll just do one more match with Night Eye and then I'll change characters and end the video there. Come on, I want to see who they're using. Okay, okay, okay. That could be okay or that could be really bad. Both versions of Shigaraki could be pretty ridiculous if the person knows what they're doing with them. I'd say version 2 Shigaraki is more easily abused, but this version of Shigaraki can be pretty crazy if they know what they're doing as well. Like, some, he's got some crazy resets with, like, the puddle after a meteor blow. I'm just gonna kill it. Hello? What? Are you kidding? I can't even stop the game. Okay. Sorry about that guys, but I'm gonna end this Night Vibe video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I might make another one <laughs> sometime soon to make up for the weird stuff that happened at the end of this video. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, there's more gameplay of other characters coming soon. And yeah, hope to see you there. <laughs> Bye.